Happy Friday, everybody! Hey! Good morning! Uh, we got the Boris and Robin show starting in uh, just a, a little while. We do! It's like 6 o'clock. Yeah! It's crazy! It's a different time today. <laughs> uh, Meat Sandwich is here. Yep, Boris is also here. Boris, we're going over the uh, pre show show. Kind of, you yes. know, our, our, our preparation for today's broadcast. Believe it or not, I know if you listen, it might be shocking. We do a little preparation. Yeah. Some, some, <laughs> some of it is planned. All right, so our big question this morning is. Now that girls are allowed into the Boy Scouts, what do you guys think? Is this a good thing? Is this long overdue? Or is this the end of the world as we know it? <laughs> um, I, I know we, we've got a lot of listeners. Whenever there's a sort of a change, some of our older listeners get very upset and very yeah. angry. And that's how you guys, uh, some of you have been on uh, Facebook. Like, oh, Boy Scouts is for boys. Girl Scouts is for girls. Well, they got to change the name? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> they might have um, so, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are upset about tradition and, and stuff like that. Uh, personally, I'm kind of happy about it. Yeah. And for one reason, one reason alone, it might mean less pedophiles. There's that. There's that. I see, uh, Boy Scouts, I will not let my son be a Boy Scout. I, I know there are a lot of very nice people who are Boy Scouts, a lot of dedicated, uh, yeah. men and young boys who, who love the tradition of being a Boy Scout. The chances are just way too high for there to be some creepy pedophile, though. I mean, how many stories does there have to be about Boy Scout pedophiles? Yeah. It's, it's nuts. I think if they let girls into it, and then you have some, uh, you know, female group leaders and stuff like that. Don't deter. I, I would think so. Okay. Because uh, men are pedophiles. Not women. Most, mostly women are not pedophiles. It's mostly men, creepy men. So I feel a little bit better about it. Okay. Kind of reminds me when I was uh, an altar boy. Back back in the day, um, I, don't, was, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> we had a creepy priest, as yeah. I know, and uh, they decided when I was an altar boy to allow girls to be altar boys for the first time. Really? And everyone thought it was a great idea, except the pedophile priest. Because he, he hated it. He was so <laughs> angry about it. He was like, "We can't have girls as honing in on his territory." Wow. I guess so. Anyway, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a uh, long overdue. Like you know, how many? Segregated things do we have left in this world was just boys and just girls. True. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I know a lot of people feel differently, so we're going to invite you guys to call in on the air this morning. Yeah. My feeling is if it doesn't affect you and it doesn't hurt anyone in any way, then why do you care? Yeah. I, I don't mind my son, uh, you know, socializing with girls. Yeah. I don't that's think that's a bad thing. Probably a good thing. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Patty says, uh, hey, it all depends on what the kids think. Yeah. I bet the kids would enjoy going to Scouts. I bet you they would. Yeah. All right. So we'll see what you guys think this morning. Uh, also uh, on the show today, comedian Rick Schultes will be uh, joining us. Oh, yes. I'm sure he'll have a lot to say on I'm the sure show. I'm sure he has a lot of as opinions. Well. <laughs> as well. None of them we can probably air. The there November. will be a lot of tasteless jokes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, speaking of tasteless jokes, he's going to be hosting the Funniest Person in Hudson Valley <laughs> Contest tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You can hear all of his unedited jokes uh, as he hosts that. Yes. Uh, we've got six very funny comedians. The uh, finals are t tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, you can be there for free and help decide who the funniest person in the Hudson Valley is. We have all the details up at WPDH.com. So we got that going on. We got our last pair of tickets uh, on the air this morning to give away for Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Madison Square Garden. We're going to do oh. Finish the Lyric. I will have more tickets tomorrow uh, over at Adams Ferryacre Farms Ooh. in Poughkeepsie. I'm going to be nice. uh, doing a, uh, a little uh, station event there during their uh, Fall Harvest Fest. Cool. I'll be there from noon to two and every half hour. Every half hour, I'll be giving away Guns N' Roses tickets. Yeah, it's crazy, right? That's like four times. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So we'll do that uh, tomorrow. I'll tell you more details uh, this morning about that. Uh, we got meet at the movies today. Yes. What, what movie were we talking about? Uh, it's pretty quiet this weekend. There's a movie called The Foreigner coming out with Jackie Chan. Uh, so this could be the start of the Jackie Chan comeback, which I've been hoping for for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's a horror movie called Happy Death Day. Which looks like a Groundhog Day, but for horror movies. Right. It's like a girl gets killed over and over again and has to figure out why she's getting killed. Uh, this could be fun. Can we just talk about the Star Wars trailer then for, <laughs> for like an hour? <laughs> do that. Just kick Robin out of the studio and talk about Star Wars. We don't have to kick her out. She'll walk out <laughs> if we start doing that. <laughs> but Alright, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yep. Bobby Welber is not going to be doing the news. we got John Clark doing the news today. But Bobby will be here for the Welber Zone. We're going to be talking about the Yankees, of course. Yes. Uh, tonight they go for the, uh, the big... NLCS Game One. I think that's what okay. It's I think that's that what makes it. sense. National League Championship. Before series. it was the pre NLCS. It was the pennant. Okay. Sure. That makes sense. Go Yankees. <laughs> Seriously, go. 
All right. Uh, uh, let's see. What else? Um, oh, uh, we've got uh, this brand new contest that's starting on Monday. Uh, it's called the uh, Big Boy Toy Box. Oh, yeah. And we will explain what that is all about this morning and give you all the details on how to win. I'm pointing at people. <laughs> you. <laughs> Talking to you. Give you the details. Yeah. And uh, Joe is reminding us that uh, it is uh, Friday the 13th today. Oh, yeah. Are you superstitious at all? No. No. <laughs> um, I think we did, like, a... It was the last Friday the 13th. We did, like, a video of me, like, going through a bunch of different, like, superstitious Oh, things. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. it was last year. I yeah. walked under a ladder and, like... And you were fine, right? Yeah. Nothing happened to you? Not that I can think of. Not that we know of. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, what could possibly happen? It's Friday the 13th. Ah! So, oh! <laughs> uh, you two freaks. Oh. oh. Okay, oh, we're back. Oh! <laughs> now I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> 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 Uh, we'll be on the air in a little bit. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you get a chance to watch the show. Thanks.